Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It's GB. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about luck. It's all about your luck. Collectively. Some of these tests will be like about all of our luck, everybody watching, and then some of it's gonna be your luck. I'm not gonna know. You're gonna have to let me know in the comment section how lucky you are. This is sort of like the sister video to the trying to guess your decisions, but again, I made a bunch of little tests instead. Um, things that are usually luck-based. Um, I think this is a very fun trigger, especially when you get it right, when you are lucky. I feel like getting lucky is a good ASMR trigger, weirdly enough. I don't know. Let's try it. We're experimenting. I made a bunch of tests. Enjoy it. Test number one. This should be pretty easy. It's easy because there's only going to be two choices, so you have a 50% chance of being lucky. I have this whiteboard here. My expo pen, and I'm going to draw an arrow right on the board. Nothing pretty, just a nice big arrow. Super basic. I'll color it in a little bit just to make it thick enough that I'll definitely show up on camera. Okay, this is actually turning out to be the ugliest arrow of all time. Okay. you to tell me. I want you to guess, because we are testing your luck here. Left or right? Left or right? Okay, that's it. That's all you have to guess is left or right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Are you lucky? Did you pick right? The answer was right. Now we're going to test your luck a little bit mm, further. Now I want you to choose up, right, down, or left. Okay. There's going to be four choices. Up, right, down, or left. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let you decide. Manifest your luck. Manifest it. See how lucky you are. Okay. Up, down, left, or right. Up, down, left, or right. Up, down, left, or right. Have you chosen? The answer is left. The answer is left. Are you lucky? Okay, that was the first two tests. You didn't get lucky. There are plenty of chances because what we're going to do now is simply move on to the next test. All right. Once again, we're going to keep it really easy. This is one of the most classic luck tests is flipping a coin, heads or tails. Some people use this to make decisions. Some people use it to see who goes first. Um, this is a really expensive coin. It is Naruto. Uh, Naruto coin. So this is heads, which is Naruto's face. And then the tails is a shuriken. So what I'm gonna do is flip the coin. 
just tell me heads or tails. Okay? If you get it right, you're lucky. Three, two, one. Heads. Heads. Did you guess heads? Did you guess heads? We're gonna do two more. Okay? I just want you to guess heads or tails. Heads again. Heads. 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 Okay. Last time. I want you to guess heads or tails. Ready? Three, two, one. Heads. <laughs> I swear I like didn't have the coin in the same spot and I tried to do different intensity flips. But once again, it is heads. heads. I'm a heads person rather than a tails person. I will usually go for heads. Good job, Naruto. Well done. That was luck test. I guess number two. The arrow test was number one, although it featured two different tests. The coin test, the coin flip, was number two. Let's move on to number three. This is a fun one. This is the color test. I am so sorry if you are colorblind, um, but I'll tell you what the colors are so you can still you can still make a guess and get lucky. We're going to do three rounds of this. Okay. So here we have our 50% chance luck test. All you have to do is guess. Green. Or blue. Green or blue, blue or green, green or blue, blue or green. Okay? And I'm going to tell you what the correct answer is. If you get the correct answer, then you're very lucky. Or 50% lucky. Choose your color now. Think about it. Which one is the correct answer? The correct answer is... Green. The correct answer is green. There's no significance. There's no way you could have known that. There's nothing. Even though I'm wearing a green shirt and the background's green and I'm wearing green nail polish, that is not why green is the correct answer. It just is. Green. Did you guess green? Well, let's see if you can do it this one. Here's the 25% luck color test for you. Okay. We have pink here. Pink in the top left. Purple in the top right. Yellow in the bottom left. And red in the bottom right. Okay. Is the correct answer pink, purple, yellow or red? Is the correct answer pink, purple, yellow, or red? Think about it. The correct answer is, are you ready? Lock it in. The correct answer is red. Did you get it right? Maybe 25 or something. Okay. It's really good. One out of four. The other three were wrong. Red means you're lucky. All right, here's the last one. This is one in six, okay? 
one of these colors is correct, okay? We have green, pink, red, blue, yellow, and purple. Now in our last test, green was correct and red was correct. They absolutely can be correct again. There is an equal chance of all of these colors being correct. Okay, so don't let that scare you. This is a completely new test. The answer is completely random. And that's why it's going to measure your luck. Let's go ahead and look at these colors. And see if we can lock one in. Are you ready for the correct answer? The correct answer is yellow. If you guessed yellow, you are extremely lucky. Well done. That was my color test. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a hard one. It's okay. So the next one I'm going to do actually has to do with all of our luck as a whole. Okay? So if one of us is lucky, we're all lucky. I have a notebook here. I have my pair of scissors. I didn't pre-prepare this because I figured it could be good sound. What I'm going to do is cut out a piece of paper here. This is almost like the raffle look test. Fun pack. say like 2009, whenever Tickle Me Elmo came out, it was the hottest toy. I was in high school, so it was kind of like, um, I had like an ironic interest in it. I was like, oh my god, Tickle Me Elmo, it's like so cute. Kind of like the Cookie Monster pants at, um, Spencer's or whatever. I was like, I want a Tickle Me Elmo. And there was one in a raffle that I was at an event. There was a raffle. And the Tickle Me Elmo was very popular. I put in one ticket and I won it. And I really don't win raffles. So I will remember that until the end of time. And I think I still have it. He definitely needs to get his batteries replaced. He's like really... Like demonic tickle me Elmo right now. Okay, each of these papers pretty much the same size, very close. And then I'm gonna cut them in half. Okay, so now we have a lot of pieces of paper. Okay, I'm. I almost want to count out ten. What do you think? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's like we're playing charades. Now, what I'm gonna do is on one of these pieces of paper, I have a colored pencil. And I'm going to scribble on this one. Okay. This is what it looks like. A little, 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 little hard to see. But it's there. Um, I didn't want to be able to see it through the piece of paper. So I'm going to fold this once. And we're going to put 
put it in a bowl, like a wrap bowl. Okay. Now I'm gonna fold all the other pieces of paper and drop them in the bowl. If we pull this green piece of paper, we, everybody watching this video, go buy a lottery ticket. Okay, it's like a one out of ten chance, so like, that's pretty good lottery. This is a very easy raffle. But maybe we can add um, more pieces of paper and try again if we don't get it the first time. Okay, here's our bowl, our little raffle, and I'm going to mix. Now, I've chosen a paper. Let's see. Are we lucky? Are we lucky? Are we lucky? Are we lucky? No, we're not lucky. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see. Where's our little green piece? It was... Hmm, looks like it was still stuck all the way at the bottom. Even though I really, I scooped, I promise. Let's try it again with more pieces of paper. So I'm going to add in 11, 12, 13, 14, Maybe we're gonna be really lucky this time. Everybody just manifest luck here. I'm gonna dump them out just to like give it a more random put some in the bowl, 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 put some in the bowl. Covering the bowl. I didn't miss any. Okay. Ready? Alright, I have a piece of paper. I have a piece of paper. Are we lucky? 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 No. We're not too lucky today. Ooh, here was the green one. Kind of close to the top. Alright, thought it would have been cool if we would get one, but... We're leaving luck for other tests. Speaking of which, the next luck test is pretty fun. Do you remember Twister? This one's the only like spinner I could find. I have like a really big wheel, like a spinner wheel, prize wheel, um, but it's way too loud for a video. So, this one is a little more quiet. Okay, so this one has, well, let's count together, ASMR style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Four times four is sixteen. Sixteen options. So you can have right foot, red, yellow, red. Did you see that? I just called this red. <sighs> right foot, blue, yellow, red, or green. Right hand, green, red, yellow, or blue. Left foot, green, red, yellow, or blue. Left hand, blue, yellow, red, or green. So the first test. I'm going to do three tests. The first test is I just want you to guess 
Is it going to land in the left foot quadrant? Is it going to land in the right hand quadrant? Is it going to land in the left hand quadrant? Or is it going to land in the right foot quadrant? Now I'm going to do this kind of flat so that um, gravity doesn't come into play here. I want you to go ahead and think about it now. Which quadrant is it going to land in? Think about it. Do you have your answer? Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to start it at the bottom here. Three, two, one. The answer was left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand. Did you guess left hand? Well, even if you didn't, the next test you might get right. So this one, I just want you to guess a color. Blue, green, red, or yellow. Just guess blue, green, red, or yellow. Doesn't matter which quadrant, just tell. Tell me what color this spinner is going to land on, okay? Are you going to pick blue, green, red, or yellow? Okay, here we go. The answer is green. It landed on left foot green. Green, 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 green. Last test. Did you get this right? What if you got both of those right? That's crazy. The last test, um, I'm going to be like pizzaing the board around and then placing it randomly on the, on the board and then spinning so that it's like more random. Um, so don't try to pick based on like gravity or whatever. Um, I need you to tell me exactly what it's going to land on. You have 16 options here. Is it going to land on right foot yellow? Is it going to land on right hand green? Is it going to land on left foot blue? We don't know, but maybe you know. Go ahead and pick a quadrant and a color. Tell me what you think. I'll give you some time. around a couple times. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. The answer was left hand blue. Left hand blue. Is that what you guessed? Left hand blue. Pretty good if you did. Pretty good. All right. I feel like some of you are super duper duper lucky. And then some of you might be super duper duper unlucky. There's a potential that you haven't gotten a single one right. Even the 50% ones. Don't worry. There's more where that came from. I'm actually going to clear this off now. And we're going to bring in the second camera because you need uh, a couple of close-ups for these upcoming tests. Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. We are back, but this time with a second camera. Hello, hello, hello. So, the test that I have for you here, 
I just want to be able to show you a little bit better. Um, and the first test is a lovely test that's going to get a bit harder and harder through each round. I want to start with a cup. Here I have five cups, but we're just going to start with two. Another 50-50, if you will. Now, I'm going to turn these cups over like this, so you can see on this second camera here. We've got cup number one and cup number two. Here I have my little container of like trinkets and game things. We've got little plastic checkers, mini die, like super, super tiny. We even got a little plastic pig in here, I think. But I do want to use this piece at the top here, because it's nice and tall. You can see it very well. This little, we'll call it a game piece. Okay, so with this game piece, I'm going to cut the cameras for a moment. And using a random number generator, so you don't have to try to guess, like, oh, which one is GB gonna pick? I'm leaving it all up to chance. Is the game piece going to be under cup number one or cup number two? Let's go ahead and generate our number here. Okay, and we're going to cut away. And we are back. I want you to guess whether the game piece is under cup number one or cup number two. Use your luck. Is it under cup number one or cup number two? One or two? Mm, okay. Choose now. It is under cup number one. Cup number one. Did you choose one? Well, we're going to make it a little harder now. Okay. Cup one. Cup two. Cup three. Okay, once again randomly generating a number. So there's no emotions involved, just luck. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're back. been placed under one of the three cups. Now you tell me, is it under cup number one, cup number two, or cup number three? Think about it. Get that luck. Feel it. Where's that game piece? One, two, or three? Three, two, or one? Let's find out. Here we go. Is it under cup number two? No, it's not under cup number two. Is it under cup number one? Cup number three? Three. It was under cup number three. Let's make it harder. Four cups. We have cup number one, cup number two, cup number three, and 
cup number four. I'm going to randomly generate the cup. Ready? Okay. I'm going to cut away. And we're back. Is the game piece. Under cup number one. Cup number two. Cup number three. Or cup number four. One, two, three, or four. Not under one or four. It was under cup number two. Cup number two. Cup number two. All right, last round. We're adding our fifth cup here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's see. Okay, I have the fate of this piece, and we're cutting away. And we're back. The piece under cup number one, cup number two, cup number three, cup number four, or cup number five. Five, four, three, two, one. Which cup? Okay, here we go. Better pick a number now. Cup number three? No, 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 no. Cup number two? Sadly not. Cup number four? Mm -mm. Is it under cup one? you do? That's pretty tough. That was a tough one. And that was the cup test. Next we have the card test. It's going to be a couple of mini luck tests in between. Actually, this is a game. Kind of, I'm using like a small portion of a game called Riding the Bus. Ride the Bus. Terrible drinking game from my college days. We are using this gorgeous deck of cards made by Lisa V. They are Avatar. Each card is different. Character. It's beautiful. They're, these are beautiful. I have a whole video showing off these cards if you're interested, but I thought it would be the perfect time to use them. It's all the, pretty much everybody from Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Now these are already um, organized, which is nice from um, numbers, I think. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask you um, what suit I'm going to pull here. 
So let's get to the jacks, queens, kings. Okay. So I'm going to do three rounds of these. I want you to guess what suit I'm going to pull. Now, in this deck of cards, the suits are the four elements. We have water, fire, air, and earth. So, the first one would be Sokka, Iro, Bumi, or Bolin. I'm going to shuffle these off camera. I want you to tell me what suit you're going to get. Water, fire, earth, or air. It's going to be this top card here. Ready? The answer is... Fire. Uncle Iroh. He's quite lucky. I feel like he radiates luck. Very nice. Let's do it again with the queens. I want you to tell me what suit you're going to pick. So you're going to pick or get Earth, which is Toph, Water, Katara, Air, which is Janora, or Fire, which is Azula. Let's see if you guessed right. The answer is... Water. Katara. Well done. Time for... The King Suit. The King Suit. Okay. For air, we have Tenzin. Fire. Zuko. Water, Amon, Earth, King Boomy, King Boomy. Okay. Water, fire, earth, or air? What will you get? What will you get? What will you get? The answer is fire. Zuko. The fact that we pulled Zuko, Iro, and Katara, I think that means something. <laughs> Three of my favorite characters. Well done. Well done, well done. Now I'm going to jump the difficulty to pretty much the hardest it can get. I'm putting all of these cards back. I want you to tell me, and there is one joker card, two joker cards, there's two joker cards, we have the cabbage merchant and the, we have the cabbage merchant and the foaming mouth guy from, I think, Kyoshi Island. <laughs> okay, so there's two jokers and then four numbers of each suit. No. You know what I'm trying to say. It's a deck of cards. There's four of each number. Two jokers. Four twos, four threes, four fours, four fives, four sixes, four sevens, four eights, four nines, four tens. Four jacks, four queens, and four kings. I'm about to shuffle these up. I really am. I don't think I can shuffle enough to, like, make it 
good ASMR, but I did finally learn how to do the thing where you like... Oh, I did. But I don't want to bend these cards up, so I'm going to shuffle them in the like crazy spreading out and then picking them up again way. But rest assured, when I come back, they'll be shuffled. Okay, we're back. I'm going to cut the deck. I want you to guess what card I completely, randomly, I didn't look, I didn't plant anything, I simply shuffled, 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 cut, cut, cut. What card is right here? What number and what suit? So like three of, and it's not spades, diamonds, clubs, or hearts, it's water, fire, earth, and air. Four of earth. Eight of water. Jack of air. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? This is the ultimate look test. Here we go. We got... Do you have it? Do you have one ready? <gasps> the queen of fire. That's an awesome card to get. We got Azula. Queen of Fire. Did you guess that? I feel like that's a fun one to guess. That was my card tests. I didn't want to go too uh, in depth with those. If you like these uh, luck tests, you can definitely bring back more specific ones. Next, we have the dice test. So, here we have a beautiful uh, roll container from Wormwood Gaming. Thank you so much for sending me this. This is actually part of their dice tower. Um, I have the whole dice tower, but today we just need this. I have one of their beautiful purple die. And I'm also going to be using a Harry Potter die because... I just used these wormwood dice in another video and I can't find them. So I found these two. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to start just by rolling the purple die. And I just want you to tell me what number I'm going to roll. Here we go. Pick fast. Ready? number is three. Did you pick three? Well, if you did, you're very lucky. Let's try it again. Go ahead and pick. Ready? Here we go. The number was one. One. Did you get it? Alright, one more time. Here we go. Let's see if you get lucky. Think of a number, think of a number. Got it? And five. It was five. I usually guess five, I think, when rolling die. I don't know why. Okay. Let's make it a little bit harder for the second dice test. We're going to add them up to die. Many, many opportunities. Now, if you know the uh, likelihood of getting a certain combination of number, this is the only test that's going to make it easier for you. You can guess the probability of what's going to be rolled a little better. And then our final test, you'll have to guess exactly what the numbers are going to be. But for this one, it's just the total number. I'll give you a hint. If you play Catan, you definitely know. Here we go. But you never know. What is the added number of the dice going to be? From 2 to 12. Pick a number. 
Ready? The number rolled was four. Four. We have a three and a one. Four. Let's do it one more time. Pick a number. Add it together. What are these dice? Here we go. Three. The number is three. We have a one and a two. Adding up to three. Okay. Final dice test. I want you to tell me exactly what I'm going to roll. So not the added number. I want you to tell me you're going to roll a four and a six. Okay. Now, it doesn't matter which dice. Okay. Maybe we do a super duper extra round. Okay. So for this round, it doesn't matter. If you guess four and six, it doesn't matter which die it appears on, as long as there's a four and a six, a three and a one, a two and a two, whatever. Okay. Here we go. Do you have your two numbers? Ready to guess? Here we go. We have a one and a four. A one and a four. I need to know somebody got this. Okay, last one. You have to tell me what the purple die is going to get and what the black die is going to get. Okay? It matters. So, what number is the purple die going to roll? Okay, what number is the black die going to roll? Here we go. If you get this right, go buy a lottery ticket. Purple rolled a two, and black rolled a six. I need to know if anyone got that right. Let me know. Lucky, 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 lucky. Okay. And that was my dice test. And consequently, all of my real tests. But we have one more. Okay. So the last test is not, um, a luck- Not like a luck test that we've done. This is a bonus test. This is our fortune-telling test. It's totally for fun. Um, but I thought it would be funny. So I have three cups. The cups are back. And each cup has an object in it. You'll definitely get an object. But the first cup, and they're going to be shaken around. So one cup represents money, riches, wealth. One cup represents love. It's a little heart earring. Uh, this is actually Goodnight Moon's earring that she left at my house. And I did DM her asking her if I could send it back to her, but um, she never told me her mailing address. So I, it's fine now. If you would like it back, Erin, just let me know. Let a girl know. But I thought that this could represent love, because it was a heart. Okay. That represents love, soulmates, whatever. You find your soulmate, you meet cute in the library, you're gonna get engaged, I don't know. And one cup represents a baby. I use the Shrek green baby. Um, a child, new life, baby. Okay? So you either get baby, money, or love. Those are your future options. That's it. Baby, money, or love. That's the game. Okay? So what I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to shuffle these, and then we're going to see 
what you get. Okay, we are back. We have three cups, as you can see. Now you're going to choose cup number one, cup number two, or cup number three. I'll show you what's inside each cup, and that's going to tell you your future. For sure, this is legit. Okay, so depending on what you pick, you get a different Will it be cup number one, cup number two, or cup number three? Decide now. Okay, locked in. For people who chose cup number one, <laughs> you got a baby. You got a baby, an ogre baby. The ogre part is like, not. that's not necessarily true, but in cup number one, you got a baby. Cup number two, you got money. Money is in your future. And cup number three, you got love. Love, love is in your future. There you go. That was our bonus test. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, that was all of my tests plus bonus round. I'm very curious to see how lucky you all are, so of course, let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much. <laughs>